your son thought that God accepted beauty. And he thought that bringing in an altar and making it real pretty for worship, that's what God would respect. They say, think the same thing today. So if God disrespects worship, sincerity, sacrifice, Cain was just as just as Abel. But it was by revelation that he understood that it was not apples that his parents eat. Do you know the fall came by women at the beginning and fall, the end is going to wind up the same way? Women coming into authority and ruling over man and so forth. You know the scripture says that? You know the day that she puts on man's clothes and bobs her hair? All those things are contrary to God's word. And you know she represents the church? When you watch what women are doing and you'll see what the church is doing. That's exactly right. It's the old horror and daughters of Revelation 17. Given to the poor, blind, miserable people her doctrine of theology contrary to the word of God and they found there the souls of slaves and men and women of, of everywhere. Instead of attracting the people, Christ does, vindicates his word which attracts the people. He don't attract the people of churches that are attracted by big denominations and big uh, doings and great big carry-ons and fancy things, but the word of God attracts the bride of Christ. Now, Notice, it's interesting to, to notice how that, that the church tries to attract the attention of the people by buying robes and dress choirs and bobbed-haired women and painted faces. They think it is sign like an angel, lie like a devil, run around all night to dance like, uh, think nothing about it. And that's what they think is all right. That's beautiful. But you see, that's false made. That's not the word of God. While the true bride attracts the attention of God by keeping his word. Now notice. Now let us notice Christ. You say, well now, wait a minute. What about this beauty you're talking about? The Bible said in Isaiah 53, 2, that when Jesus come, there was no beauty of him that we should desire. Is that right? There's no beauty. If he would have come in the worldly beauty as Satan is today, the people would have run around him and accepted him the way they do the church today. They would have believed him, received him, as they do Satan today. Certainly they would. But he didn't come in that kind of a beauty. But he always comes in the beauty of character. There, Christ wasn't a beautiful, great, strong, stout man. God doesn't choose that kind. Stop this a minute, man. Look at your... Your creeds that you serve. Look in your churches. Is it just exactly with the word of God? Have you met every qualification? Say, I'm a good man. So was Nicodemus and so was all the rest. They, they were fine. See, that don't have nothing to do with it. And women, I want you to look in the mirror. And look what God requires a woman to do. And see... In God's mirror, not your church mirror. In God's mirror. And see if you could qualify in your life the spiritual bride of Jesus Christ. Ministers think the same. Do you cut corners here to save somebody's feelings over here? Would you do this if it wasn't, if they put you out of the church? If you are feeling that way, my dear brother, let me warn you in the name of Jesus Christ, flee from that right now. And lady. If you can't measure up to the qualification of a Christian, not as a nominal Christian, but in your heart, and your life is patterned exactly like God's marriage certificate here says it has to be. And church member, if your church isn't like that, can measure up to God's qualification of His Word, get out of it and get into Christ. <laughs>